Boy, I'm hurting so bad. Oh boy, I'm hurting. Oh. Shine some light around. I got the last bolt. Actually, two of um, these studs for the top of the bell housing. How it holds the one side holds the transmission lines and the other side holds the fuel line. <coughs> and uh thought I was just missing one from the transmission fuel line side up over here on the past side. Thought I was just missing one because I got in the, the 13 millimeter nut off but I couldn't get this 15 off because the um the the firewall being a little close and don't have the angle to get to it but also couldn't get those um uh, those pieces where the the other people cut the exhaust off the previous owner they cut the um, the cats out, so I couldn't get those off uh, recently. But I gave it another effort to get them off, so I have a little bit more elbow room to get my arm up in there, and I uh, I was able to squeeze my hand. Uh, between the firewall the, or the bottom of the firewall the transmission the transmission line and uh, Be able to reach up there to the top of the bell housing To get to that um, Where I was able to put the ratchet in the, uh, the wrench My little 15 millimeter wrench I was trying to get like I said in the last video I was trying to get a set of the stubbies Little half a wrench, but they were a little bit too much money. I couldn't get them the other day, so I was able to barely get up there and have the wrench on that bolt and push up. Anybody knows that's a lot of that's a lot of torque power Powerful. to be able to push up like that. So. The heck out of my arm, the right my forearm, can help you move the world and my palm my hand. But a lot of pressure to you not only move push the world, my foot on the ground. For your future. Presenting the Nissan Altima. I was what, listening to uh, Impossibly smart. CJ on 32s in Florida. And usually it cuts the... It stops playing the video while I'm recording. But apparently it didn't do it this time. So I'm going to go back and see if it was playing. See y'all in a minute. Alright, so yeah, I'm back. Uh, hopefully that doesn't get me copyright. Because as you can hear, the I have the picture in picture right over about here. Is the video of CJ on 32s. Um last day in Florida and it was playing a commercial ad so hopefully that beat don't give me copyright but yeah I got I had uh, uh, the stubby in the way finally got those uh, exhaust tips off off of the headers so I was able to get a little bit more elbow room and be able to push up a little bit more and get that bolt off and then on this side on the driver's side the, the fuel line clip on so now the only thing I got left is the cross member I got the transmission mount bolt out so now all I have to do is support the transmission up, get the get that bolt 
that stood out of the that transmission mount and then um be ready to take off the cross member bolts and should be all ready to come down so I'm trying to get out there that dude to Albert's house tomorrow to bring him the fender that I bought for the 2500 um, I'm bringing him that fender for his other 2500 and um, mainly he needs just the, the headlight housing because his was broken but it gives him an extra fender I don't care about and um I was going to bring my winch up there to show him I have a 12,000 pound winch to um he's talking about uh scrapping two of his vehicles there and um use my car hauling trailer to haul his cars cuz he was going to haul he was going to hire a scrapper to come and get it but since I will be having that dually, I can use my car hauling trailer for the main purpose I bought it and haul some cars to the scrapyard. So, work, work, work. But, so the other transmission on the other truck is ready to come down. I just got hung up way too long and not being capable of doing getting dirty <laughs> mm, getting down here to get things achieved but now I'm a step further sorry I didn't go live last night well yesterday when I was playing with the kids in that video I talked about going live and last night it rained so I couldn't come out of here last night but not raining tonight so I was going to go live but kind of late start me and Shandy and the kids had to do a Thanksgiving dinner tonight because she works on um, Thanksgiving on Thursday so we uh, cooked up some ham and sweet potato casserole and green bean casserole and all the little here and there stuff in um, sweet uh, potato salad and cranberry sauce and woo some ham so I'm clean up and uh, go take a shower tonight shave my head again my daughter says I gotta cheat, keep my face shaved now, and she's getting mad. I, I'm starting to get stubbies, but I'm gonna go shave so I keep it down. Might I might stay shaved up for a little while now. I just wish I can get rid of this fucking lump on my face. The doctor said I can't use my current health insurance which I don't have any health insurance or that crap that fake crap food stamp gives out but hopefully I can be able to get health insurance here soon once I start making some money with this uh diesel truck I'm getting so truck, work, health insurance, cut my face off, oh and that thing, back here, same thing, so, need to get some parts cleaner and clean some uh, oil off the bottom of the motor and make sure there's no oil leaks, I, don't, I haven't seen any but there is setting oil but I think it's just from previous 
use. And no, I drained the wool a while back, so it looked pretty good. Still got to take off the red oil filter there. But, so, salute blessings, everybody. Thank you for everybody's comments, motivation, and here and there. See y'all in a minute. <clears throat> so, we're having fun. We're having fun. We got this hub. We got this rim. A little flat tire. Got bullet hole rim. My buddy Albert had it on his boat. But let's see if I can find there's one stud. Let's see if I can find that. two studs. Three studs. Might be yeah, there it is. So this lug nut wouldn't come off the rim. And I was trying everything. I was trying the torch, impact gun, and it still wouldn't come off. So it was pretty well seized on there. Nothing. Can't W40. So I took the grinder to it, cut the back of the stud. On the hub, so finally got it off, and we saved the rim. Need to be cleaned. So I'm punching out the other studs because he's going to try to save it. Mm, might it might clean up okay, and there's marks there from the grinder. Ain't too bad. He could put it back on the boat the trailer. I'll probably tell him you might as well because <laughs> these little in the in the studs there's these little bridges that grips the the stud to the hub when you press it in. It doesn't look all that great but it can be used. But, I'm just doing a little side job for him. I'm about to go get my tire machine and um, dismount the tire from the rim. So when I take it back to him tomorrow, that already be done. Just doing some side work for him. I went out there earlier. He had two lug nuts on the, that was stuck on the rim. It was like here and here. There's two lug nuts. When I was there, I had the impact gun, a pair of vice grips. I got one of the studs off with holding the vice grips on and used the impact gun to take the nut off. But then this one wouldn't come off, not even with the heat from the torch. So that's when I decided to take the grinder to the back of it. And salvage the rim and if you need to get a new hub you can get a new hub but at least he has the rim salvageable and then now so when he was taking the, the rim off before I guess he broke one of the studs so I gotta grab a center punch out of my toolbox and tap that stud out like I just did with those ones here I had the other four here and the uh, well three because I'd cut that the nut one off and punched it out through the front with my all right all right let me get the little light down here so we got a Screen focus. So we got my tire breakdown tool I have had for a minute. If anybody remembers when I went through the series of breaking down the tires in the backyard a minute ago, 
when we were over there talking and my I realized my phone had been full of videos I had to delete some just now but that tire was on that rim and I broke it down with my bead breaker my little chopper right there broke the bead off see the soap on it and then my pry tools pop the tire off of the rim and be ready to go back to my buddy Albert and he was telling me he has another tire up there at his house so I'll be bringing that up there to him and I got some work hopefully get to do tomorrow it's 8 30 ish almost 8 20 so I'm gonna put the kids to bed in the house and then try to get back out here to finish getting that transmission on the gun I got the that bolt that last bolt out of the bell housing so I'll see y'all in a minute well well got another little bomb part I was going to do the trying to get the transmission on the ground there but I remembered Albert wanted me to take my jack up there tomorrow so I guess I'll not tie up the jack to do that so I, uh, I'll do that tomorrow and plus really cold really cold and my legs hurting so badly I'm doing all the other stuff so see y'all in a minute all right so sorry for the late days sometimes but what we got going on here we got stack of tires we got the archway that i built a while back but because of where that light is that dog that's in there hardly oh, that dog right there it's eating food go close this gate early that one then we got wicket then we got that one. loud butt there uh, when Shandy was taking her out for a walk earlier she had ran up the road out there so I had a step to the big project I wanted to do the cattle gate that I had in the backyard that I got from the neighbor got one half there I cut that part down to make two halves I covered the end of it the sharp middle where I cut on my grinder I covered it with the aluminum foil tape then making a a hinge hand dug that see if I have any dirt my fingernails huh? yeah I don't have a pole saw digger and really I wanted it really small as possible so I simply just hand dug it look it was loose uh, loose enough dirt but so from here to here which is about perfect is going to be my gate to block the dogs back there sorry for the crackhead uh, I would say redneck but this is way beneath redneck this is a lot less than redneck but I'll do it crackhead redneck style for now until I get my better yard set up eventually have a, a decent yard a private fenced in yard and then I can uh, be able to do it all professionally a professional dog cage setup but we're going to cover this pole in pack that back in 
I got the height just about where I want it, right over here. So, I got a lot of work to do and a little time to do it. So, last night was really cold. Stop. I had, had the fire going last night. I wish I had enough stuff to burn right now. It's getting a little chilly, but it's still early right now. It's like uh, 6 o'clock, 6.30. Yeah, 6.38. So, but, so hopefully it'll be still early enough and not freezing in a little while. I can get underneath of, y'all can't see right now, but the black avalanche is right in front of me. So, hopefully I can get my jack out, support that transmission in the air, drop the cross member, lower that transmission on the ground, scoot it, drag it out of the way, and then do the same to the black, I mean the, the blue avalanche. Sean's calling me, I'll be right back. Now that's motivation. That was a big thing I was worried about. From that edge, It'd be covered to that fence. It'd be covered. That was that was a big reason why I wanted to cut that gate. Because now I have two gates and they fit perfect. More in the daytime. More to come in the daytime. Ooh, that's motivation right there. See y'all in a minute. I guess. Alright. So. I'm going to need to do the black avalanche. And. As we can see. I removed. The cross member. That holds up the transmission. It's a transmission mount. I got all the bolts out of the. The bell housing. They're all gone. And for some reason, why do I have these tie down straps? Well, because some reason it's not coming free. I got the bolt out of the, the flywheel and the torque converter that's separated. But I guess the the point where the torque converter is into the flywheel I guess it's pinched for some reason so I've lowered the transmission down a little bit raised it up a little bit trying to wiggle it out and it's not coming free oh, it's aggravating I actually talked to my buddy Albert I told him I was about to get rid of it. Finish scrapping it out. But he's begging me to see if I can get it done. That way he can use this truck. But I told him I'm at the point where I just want to cut my losses and get another freaking truck. But the major way he's willing to do the deal for the dually I want is if I finish doing this truck and he can use this truck and I can get the dually from him but I told him I was like I'm getting I'm getting uh too frustrated that I'm getting fed up with the problems of it to do it so I don't know I'll keep on working a little bit but if I don't have it done soon then like I told Albert I'm just going to give up and uh, cut my losses and 
if I don't have a, another vehicle here soon, then I mean, uh, a way to get another vehicle, then like I said, I'll cut my losses with this truck, scrap both of them out, sell everything I have to enough to buy another truck. I gotta do something. I gotta. I gotta be able to get around to make money to pay the bills and feed these kids and get out of this fucking crackhead house. It, it kills me so bad to be living here and be in this situation that I'm not doing what I should be doing. I, sh I should be able to give my kids a better place to live and between my leg oh my leg is killing me so bad from being underneath to here and doing this and doing everything else I'm doing but between my leg and vehicle problems difficult to get a uh, work and even get 95 I mean I can walk, I can ride a bike, and this and that, people would say, but that would be a hell of a lot of leg problems, and then to perform at the job and not get fired, a lot of everything's a complication when the problem comes up, so salute to everybody. I'm gonna post this video up today. Happy Thanksgiving. I've seen a couple of people went live. A couple of people posted videos. So, I'm gonna try to get to watch people's videos while I, I, uh, I fit around and do some thinking. Anybody got any ideas? Huh? Alright, well. See y'all in a minute. Salute and blessings, everybody. Stay motivated. Whatever you have to do. And if you gotta cut your loss to continue to move forward, then hopefully, uh, it works out for everybody. Hopefully it works out for me here soon. I gotta do something. Kids are dying in there. See y'all in a minute.